Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you how to create U-Bolt with nut and washer. In this tutorial, I will use and load in the created nut and washer which parameter control by lookup table. You can find and watch how to create nut and washer video in the channel and I will refer the data in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family and select the generic model and open it. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for inner diameter. Select instance and click OK. Insert dimension and add parameter for inner radius. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for thread offset. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for rod radius. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for rod diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 16 mm value for rod diameter as default. Add formula for rod radius. The formula is diameter divided by 2 and click apply. Add a new parameter for thread height. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for thread height. The formula is thread offset plus inner radius and click apply. Go to manage lookup table. Import the CSV files one by one for nut, washer, and thread and click OK. Add a new 3 lookup table parameter for 3 CSV file. Select text for type of parameter and select other for group parameter. Select instance and click OK. Add value of lookup table parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to reference level. Insert the thread rod, nut, and washer created family and click open. Go to project browser. Drag and drop the thread rod family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Move down thread rod and align to the bottom reference plane and lock it. Select the thread rod and associate the lookup table parameter to lookup table name 1. Nominal diameter to rod diameter and length to thread height. Associate and add new material parameter. Select instance and click OK. Select the thread rod and mirror to right side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to reference level. 
Align the thread rod to the reference plane and lock it. Go to create and select the sweep. Set work plane, pick up the plane and open front view. Sketch patch and draw start end radius arc. and align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile on left view. Draw an ellipse and make radius is 8 mm as default. Insert radius dimension. Select dimension and assign parameter to rod radius. Align the ellipse tangent to the reference plane and lock it. Complete the sweep. Back to front view. Go to family type. Check and test the parameter. Parameter are working. Back to family type and add formula for inner radius. Formula is inner diameter divided by 2. Click apply and OK. Go to reference level. Select the nut washer family and drag. Select on work plane and drop it. Back to front view. Select the nut washer family and mirror to down. Align to reference plane and lock it. Select the nut washer family and mirror to right side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the nut washer family. Associate lookup table parameter to lookup table name for nut and lookup table name 2 for washer. Nominal diameter to rod diameter and material to material. Go to family type. Check and test the parameter. Parameter are working. Go to 3D view and back to family type. Assign for material. Add a new material and rename to galvanized and click apply. Open asset browser. Click on Appearance Library and select Metal. Search for Galvanized. Select Galvanized Steel and replace it. Duplicate the Galvanized and rename it. Click Apply. Go to Graphic and select Use Render Appearance. Click Apply and OK. Check in Realistic View. Ok, now creating is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.